New details after a man takes police on a wild chase all throughout Kansas City. Chopper 5 was overhead there as the driver in that red car plowed over a fence near homes on 30th Terrace Street. KCTV 5's Rudy Harper spoke to neighbors and witnesses and is live now with new details. Rudy. Well, this is a dead end street. There's not a ramp to get onto I-70 here, but that driver plowed his vehicle over this gate and drove off down the highway. Chasing down good. <laughs> if you can't tell, Eric Spearman and Gomez Manny know a lot about cars. Nah, they, his car ain't fast enough. So. They're talking about this red car. It was a two door. That came flying past them this afternoon. They say six or seven Jackson County Sheriff deputies weren't far behind. They stopped up there and then the police got out and tried to bust the windows and they took off down the hill. They saw it from the ground. Chopper 5 caught the action overhead. When the stolen vehicle gets on 30th Terrace, it appears the chase is over. But then the car takes off down the hill and crashes over a fence and peels off down I-70. Yeah, they must have did something real, you know. It was crazy. Deputies had to reroute. They actually went back up the hill and came around and got on the highway. A short time later, the vehicle stops near the I-70 and in Manchester Interchange. The driver jumps out and makes a run for it. He wasn't smart. Now a foot chase between the driver and a deputy. But it doesn't last long. The man trips and falls. Spearman knew. He wouldn't get far. If they don't catch him down here, they'll catch him somewhere on down there. The driver and two others were arrested. Deputies were in pursuit for about 20 minutes. Live in Kansas City, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News.